Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we will be designing this angle flange with the dimension as specified right over here. Now it's a simple design. Uh, we have to do some uh, pad, some rib and some hole and that's it. So if you see the isometric view of the model, it looks something like this. And uh, let's see how we can design this quickly in Katia V5. Alright, so let's start with the mechanical design, part design, call it angle flange. Now the first sketch that we will be doing is for the top face, so basically the square shape. So for that let's go for uh, XY plane, go for sketching and you can select a uh, center rectangle and from the origin you can draw a rectangle then we can dimension this rectangle using the constraint now for the dimension you can see this is 360 also uh, it's a square so each of the side will be equal so 360 for this one 360 for this one as well you can zoom to fit to see your uh, sketch after that we will exit the workbench and we will go for a padding ok so you can see there is a 50 uh, padding right over here for this sketch now one thing that we can do before padding is we can uh, simultaneously give the whole part so for that we'll draw this circle which is obviously of dia 210 so let's select the circle 210 dia and then we can exit the workbench and now go for a padding of 50 mm i want it to go reverse side preview okay so that's it with the first sketch now for the second sketch we have to do a, a sketch that looks uh, something like a line, the arc, then another line. So for that, I will select ZX plane, go for a sketching, and this time, let's go for a profile. We'll start from here and convert it to arc, and then another horizontal line like that. Okay, then we have to give the dimension so this one this one and the radius of the arc so as you can see this radius is 260 so 260 radii and uh, after the 50 pad uh, we have a depth of 150 from the top so that means this vertical line should be 100 and similar to that this will be 100 also All right what else if we can give it uh, this distance yeah 360 after that we can exit the workbench and we can uh, we can uh, go for the rib so for that we need a profile so I'll select this face go for a sketching and select this circle and project it and then exit the workbench now you will utilize the new sketch for the rib so let's go for rib in the profile make sure you select the circle and the center curve will select this one preview ok that looks right now one thing that we have to see over here is there is another 290 dia uh, circle inside which is basically giving it a hollow shape so for that I'll select my sketch 3 and I will draw a 290 dia circle 290 and then we will exit and there you go you have the 
hollow shape of the flange. All right, and then we will select this face, go for a sketching, and pretty much repeat the same thing, which we have to do is draw a rectangle, give it a dimension of 360 each side. 360 and 360. I'll select the center of the rectangle and the circle and go for a concentricity. Press OK, then exit the workbench. And we can go for also, we have to select this circle and project it and then we can go for the pad so 50 mm nice okay that's it with the sketch now further we have to do is uh, give it of uh, 20 radii fillets now before that we'll do the whole part so select this face go for holes uh, position is sketch now if you see it's 50 from either of the edges so select the hole from this edge and from this edge this should be 50 this should be 50 as well and then exit the sketch and since we have defined the sketch all we need is the whole uh, definition so this is basically 30 dia 30 dia and we'll go for up to next and in the type we'll see that it's a contour board so for the contour board we need uh, a 60 dia with 10 depth so diameter is 60 and depth is 10 you can preview it and that's the hole right that looks nice after that we'll select the hole go for a rectangular pattern and uh, if we see the pattern this is 260 on either side so let's go for instances and spacing instance will be 2 spacing is 260 let's select this edge can reverse it go for second direction we'll do the same thing instances 2 and spacing 60 reference element this one press ok to confirm Right, so we have done the hole on that face. Let's go for hole on this face as well. So select the face, go for sketching. Okay, we don't want to sketch. We will place the hole directly. So let's go for hole on this face. Go for position sketch. Go for constraint for the sketch from this edge and from this edge. Should be 50. This should be 50 as well. Then exit the sketch. Since we have already defined the previous uh, hole pattern, so it will uh, take the same values, and well, that's what we want. So I'll just press OK and then select hole to go for rectangular pattern. Everything is defined. All we have to do is reference element for first direction and reference element for second direction then reverse it so yeah that's it for the hole now the last part is uh, radius fillet of 20 I'll select all my edges so for f 6 7 8 edges preview Okay, go for isometric view, and that's how you can model your angle flange according to the dimension which are specified over here. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys uh, like this. And if you have any doubts uh, with this one, feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you are watching this. And, guys, peace out.